Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Una and I do project planning content and other related things about makeup and stuff. Um, if I look and sound tired, that's because I am. It's just after Yom Kippur, which is a really important holiday and it's a fasting day. So I fasted all day yesterday and um, went to a bunch of services and I'm very tired. <laughs> but uh, it was a good, a good Yom Kippur overall. So yeah, I'm glad to be here. Um, updating you. Today is going to be a Panlo's eyeshadows update. It's update number 11, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, I have some pretty exciting progress to share with you guys. So let's get started. This is from the ColourPop The Child palette. Um, I rolled it in three months ago. My At the first update, it had six uses. Last month, it had 17 uses. And this is what it's looking like now. This one right here with 21 uses so yeah it's got a nice little dip going but nothing dramatic um i use this mostly as like an inner corner inner fifth maybe of my eyelid type of thing it's very sparkly it's like kind of like a greeny gray silver almost um yeah i really like it it's a great shade um but not any pan <laughs> um i have tried to hit pan on sipping soup which is the more greeny one and it just like it's a lot so yeah i wasn't planning to hit pan it's definitely creamier than the other one but um anyway i was glad to have this in and i'm also glad to be rolling it out next is the shade sabrina oh i didn't even bring it next is the shade sabrina from the lunar beauty moon spell palette um this has been in for two months um last update had 10 uses and here it is now with 20 uses. Um, I was gonna use it one more time when I did this update, but then I decided to do it today and I didn't use it today and I didn't really want to. Um, but yeah, it definitely has a nice little area of usage in the middle. You can see that it's been used. There's a teensy bit of a dip, but um, not much. I would have to work much harder on it <laughs> to use it. I've been using this basically the same way as it was last month in combination with one of the pink shadows. It does blend out really lovely. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll use this palette a little bit more in the fall as it's like, you know, very fall and like spooky, I don't know, it's really a really gorgeous color story, but, um, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll get rolled back in <laughs> so that happens. This has been in the project a couple times, um, but that is also rolling out because my goal is 20 uses. I didn't give like any intro to this, but, uh, oh well. All right, the next shade is from my Odin's Eye Alva palette. Um, it is the shade Camellia. Uh, which was rolled in at the same time as the last shade this last month it had seven uses is that right no <laughs> last month it had 10 uses and here it is now with 22 uses 22 so yeah it's got a nice dip in it but nothing crazy um i really enjoyed this it's a great shade it's really pretty it's like a little bit of a cooler pink although not too much anyway really solid shade on for like kind of an outer outer corner I mean I like <laughs> not like it's dark and that's why it's an outer corner shade that's just like how I used it outer corner crease kind of shade um yeah and that is rolling out so that is three eyeshadows that I met my usage goal on um next are some single eyeshadows the first is the Terra Moon shadow in M51 which I rolled in last month so this is what it look was looking like and here it is now with six uses so nothing crazy this is like a purpley green um, multi-chrome and it's nice. I actually have it on today where it looks very like orangey green because of the orange shades I have not on underneath, but yeah, it's very adaptable. Um, next is the shade Baroni, Baronu, which is from my Depotted Juvia's Place palette. Um, this is what it looked like last month when I rolled it in and here it is now. Um, it has 13 uses on it, which is pretty darn good and a nice little dip but nothing crazy. I probably still won't hit pan on this because, I don't know, I feel like it would take like over 30 uses and I don't really like oranges that much, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe maybe I'll decide to keep it in. And finally, also from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette, I have the shade Osun, um, which I also rolled in last month. This is what it was looking like. And here it is now. I think you can tell. Maybe you can't, but that is pan <laughs> in there. Um, the angle of the light is a little bit weird, plus it's a reflective shadow, but I did hit pan, and um, that was after 13 uses as well. Um, I use this basically as an inner corner shade, and um, I'm so happy. I don't really like this color, honestly, 
but it works all right as like a peachy inner corner shade. It's just like kind of a little bit too warm to be like a silvery pink and it's a little bit too silvery and reflective to feel like it feels it works with more warm tone things at least for my way of doing warm tones so yeah it was a little weird but I hit pan and yeah I'm very happy about that <laughs> um so that is also rolling out um but the other two singles are staying in yeah so that means that I'm rolling out four shades which is super thrilling um I was kind of hoping to have pan on that, but I wasn't really sure that it was going to happen. And um, I haven't had pan in this project in a couple updates, so it's really, really nice to have that rolling out. And so now I'm going to update you on my pan percentage and then talk a little bit about that and then roll into shadows. That's, I mean, yeah, that's basically it. All right, so. Sorry about that. I've been sneezing so much lately, so I had to take a break to sneeze, and now I sound, like, congested, <laughs> but anyway. Alright, as of today, my eyeshadow pan percentage is 22.358%, which is compared to 21.1% last month and 19.9% the month before, or the update before. Um, and then, yeah, at the beginning of the year, I was only at 12%. So yeah, that is 55 out of 246 eyeshadows, which is really, really thrilling. Um, last month I was at 55 out of 246. So I've hit three new pans since then. I honestly don't remember which ones, but yeah. None, only the one in this project. And then for fun, my whole collection pan percentage, so that's anything in my pan that like has a container that you can hit the bottom of basically. I have 63 out of 285 possible pans, which is a pan percentage of 22.105%. These have been tracking fairly well um, because that counts on my eyeshadows as well as some like face um, powders, highlighters, blushes, that kind of thing. And I've been hitting some face powders and highlighter pants recently, so yeah. Um, that's really, really thrilling. I think I'm on track to hit my goal of 25% by the end of the year, but we'll see. And um, I, yeah, I think I can definitely get up to like 30 eyeshadow pants because I'm at 27 right now, which is really, really thrilling. Although one of them has been repressed, I think, if that's how that's counted. But yeah. Anyway, let's get straight into rolling in our new products. So in my spreadsheet of eyeshadows without pan. I have 192 eyeshadows, so I'm going to roll between 2 and 193 because that's how my spreadsheet is set up. I think it's updated, but I could not tell you that for sure, so. Our first number is 61, 160, I need to write these down, oh, 124, and 185. Hopefully those will all work, but they might not, so I will probably have to re-roll re -roll at least one of them. We've also recently made an entirely new makeup spreadsheet, so I'm trying to shift everything over, but it's like, it's in progress. <laughs> All right, so 160 is actually Celine from Terra Moons, which I have already had in this project and another project, and it only just barely rolled out, so I'm gonna re-roll for that. And I got 140, so hopefully that works. 124 is also an eyeshadow I've already had. It's from my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. It's like the light teal color. So I'm gonna reroll another shade. <laughs> this is how this always goes. I just, I already worked on those this year. So 193 is my new number. I thought everything was fine, but then I started swatching these and this is um Baronu and this is a new shade I just rolled in and they're like almost identical. I did not totally did not think about that. So I will actually be re-rolling <laughs> for that shade which was HBIC out of the Naked Honey palette. That's really unfortunate, but I can't work on those two shades together. So I basically had to re-roll three out of the four shades I rolled in. So that's really fun. And my new number is 10. So yeah. Oh boy, let's make sure that works. So, <laughs> finally, these are my new shades. So these are the two that are rolling, staying in, M51 and Baronu. This is shade number 10, which is Supreme from my Jackie Ina palette. This is it right here. 
um yeah there's like a little bit of wear but not much and this swatch like way deeper than it looks in the pan at least to me but that should be a good fun pink shade um since i'm rolling out some pink shades not my favorite especially not for the fall but that's okay um next is uh what is this culotta from my going coconuts palette it's like a depotted so it's just like a cool tone brown which is actually great because i regularly use a cool tone brown when i'm doing brown looks like even if it's a warm brown look i like start with a cool tone brown um i've been using a lot of warm taupe from my abh palette but i can just swap this out and um yeah probably won't hit pan because of color pot mattes but i might get a nice good dip after that is Zabornak from Pretties for Your Face, which is a cool toned brown shimmer, which is like perfect. These two together are going to be incredible. Um, I'm actually really excited for that. And I haven't used this shade much, maybe like twice. So that's really exciting. And finally is Good God from um, JD Glow, um, which is like a little bit similar to M51, but definitely more purple pink. So um, yeah, that'll be nice to have around. This is definitely, I think, the one I've used the least. I like how I say definitely, and then I think this is one of the JD Glow shadows I have used the least out of the four that I have. Um, yeah, it's definitely, it is definitely. <laughs> okay you get it um but yeah this is a great little roundup i will definitely have this ready to roll out in terms of usages pretty soon because i'm already up to 13. this will probably take another two months um or two updates and then i might get some good use on these two although i probably i'm not anticipating hitting pan on either um and then these two might take a little bit longer to get my uses up on but that's the update thank you so much for watching i um I really love doing this project. I'm so glad that um, everyone has been so like supportive of my updates. I'm really excited about this new color story and everything, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!